picking one out of random. What do you think? We're gonna pick a joke out of random. Out of nowhere, what do we pick up? What is this? What is this? All right, so it's my 30th birthday after the uh, after the club. Like I have this whole little birthday party at a club. Uh, stupid shit. And then I, I I am on those exos. I am drinking crazy. And this is I'm not on. I don't take exos on the regular, so I'm new to this shit. Right? We get we get out of the club. It's like 2 a.m. We get some chicken. It's not a regular food truck. He's like a regular truck with a fucking smoker on the back. I'm just like, yeah, give me that chicken. Ah. And I swear to God, it comes with like a leg and a thigh on two pieces of bread. I'm like, how the fuck is that a sandwich? Eat that or grub out. We head to the strip club. Homie's up in the VIP. Yo, what up, dog? He's like, what's up? What you doing? I'm like, just celebrating my birthday. It's your birthday, dude? I'm going to get you a couple lap dances, bro. Two ladies. One can speak English. One cannot speak English at all. They start their dance. And I start sweating profusely. I mean, I'm talking about like rain drenching down my face. It's so bad. It's just like dripping off of me. Uh, the ladies ask me if I'm okay. They very nicely take cold ice cubes and start rubbing on my head. Nothing has ever felt better in my life than when those ladies rubbed cold ice cubes on my sweaty ass head. What I know is when you start feeling fucked up, you need to go see the Coca-Cola guy. So I said, I'm going to go see the Coca-Cola guy. I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. I go look for the Coca-Cola guy. He's not near the bathroom where he's supposed to be, but he's gonna hang out by the bathroom. I'm gonna come visit him when I need to. Go straight to the bathroom. The bathroom is a line, cause you know, there's only dudes at the strip club. So you know, there's gotta be a line for fucking dudes at the strip club. He, you know, we're waiting, um, I'm waiting for a stall, cause I know I'm gonna be, be like, Rusty Blues, I'm about to call up some dinosaurs up in that bitch. I know, I know, I know some dinosaurs are gonna be called. I'm gonna be throwing up. There's like, there's four, there's four stalls open, four stall doors. One of them has a big hole in the door. That one's open. I don't want to go on that fucking one. That, I don't want people watching at me what's happening. Like, that shit's about to go down in there. For the one for one to open without the hole in the door, because I'm not just pissing this bitch. I'm going to be throwing up. I don't want people looking at me. Stall without the hole in the door. I go in there, do my business, and then I, I then pass out on the fucking toilet. I wake up at 5 a.m. My homie, wake up, bro. Wake up. My first question is, did you take a picture of me? Why the fuck not? Why would you wait? That would have been a perfect picture opportunity, man. And you just let it go. And then my next question was, how the fuck did I get in the one with the, the stall with the hole in the door? How did that happen? I don't, how did that happen? Somebody picked my ass up and moved me or woke me up and uh, you gotta move, like I, I, I just don't see that happening because I mean my homeboy had trouble waking me up so they're telling me that they're gonna wake me up and get me to move no I'm t somebody picked my big ass up and moved me from the stall that they wanted to be in to the stall with the hole in the door so everybody was just looking at this fat guy Chris uh, Chris Farley on the toilet nobody gives two fucks about me nobody cares what's going on with me which is messed up I mean it, it hurts my feelings a little bit